Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur bucket spigot plug it tutorial. If you're doing it for the first time, feel free to hit that like button or that subscribe button because that helps me out for helping you guys out as we continue making these videos. This is Easy Protector made by Jia Gianluca. Still terrible at pronouncing their name and it does require protocol lib, vault, Java 8, and then Spigot 1.7 plus. Now this is a really cool plugin. What this plugin does is like an added level of protection for your server. There's some things that like a uh, hacking plugin will not or an anti-cheat plugin will not stop, like viewing the plugins list, uh, like op commands, world download, other kind of like mini map mods or sprinting mods. Some of the stuff that doesn't really get caught by anti-cheat, this plugin will will catch. Now, this plugin is not an anti-cheat plugin. It's specifically made to be an extra layer of protection. And so, what you can see here is this is what happens if they do plugins or plug PL. They're going to see, they're not going to see your plugin list. They're going to see all of these plugins that you customize. So you can be like, go away or do whatever you want. And then you can also have it automatically notify any operators in order that they could see what's going on. If somebody's trying to do this, same thing with version does the same thing. You don't have permission to do this. You can see it's easy protector stopping that. You can also stop a lot of like the sub commands. There's a lot of stuff that bypasses and is automatically built in like a bucket and then help. And then that syntax permit, uh, forbidden. That kind of stuff is stopped automatically. A lot of the autocomplete so people can come on your server and start just hitting like letters and tab and then try to find commands that maybe they shouldn't have. And then the other bit is you can actually block commands for opt players. So let's opt myself. So you see I'm opt. And then if I try to do reload, it says this command can only be executed from the, from the console. So even on top of that, your admins and operators and stuff can be restricted from doing any kind of commands. It's really pretty slick. Before we jump into the config and take a look, let's talk about permissions. There's a whole lot of them you're gonna see over here. So go ahead and check out all of them. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's just a lot of bypass permissions. So if you want people to bypass certain kind of mods and allow them to use certain mods, you want to give these permissions to your default group or whatever group that you want. If you want your, your operators to be able to still run commands in the, the blocked list or certain ones to run that, you're going to want to add the permission nodes down here. You also have the notify options in here as well. And you just got to add those to the group that they're a part of and then that then they have that permission so let's jump over to the config and take a look okay you can see we're running 1.12.2 as of 11:21, so it's not too old we're gonna jump into plugins and you're gonna drop this jar file in your plugins folder and start your server once again make sure you have vault and protocol lib otherwise the plugin will fail to start and then we have this and we're going to open up the config so looking through the config the author's done a great job in putting comments in here if you're not seeing all these colors i'd highly recommend you get notepad plus plus or some other kind of code viewing notepad so you can see all this stuff you can change the prefix so if you want it to actually be your server name rather than easy protector you can do that in here i love it when authors add this they have an auto update which is really cool and then you can actually have it log the block commands everything can be turned on and off on this plugin it's very cool you can turn off the tab completion if you want to to have that enable so you have your warn notify and then punish so you can enable all each section of this you can actually automatically kick players for doing this kind of stuff which is really cool you can have the hidden syntax like we were talking about that bucket colon help kind of stuff you can do here's your custom plugin list you can put whatever you want on here if you want to throw people way off so they can't see the plugins that you have loaded here's your custom block command so maybe you have commands that are not built into bucket or spigot that you want to block users from running you can put whatever the heck you want in here obviously version and ver ver is in here um you know, if you have any other kind of plugins that you want to block, it's it's great in here. Here's your opt player commands, a sign hack exploit that it can block. Now here's where you can block all the mods. They're all off by default. So you want to go in here and um, hit true. So that's schematica, voxel map. Damn it, there's a mini map, forge, uh, light loader, better sprinting, a lot of stuff. Maybe some of this stuff will be caught by your anti-cheat plugin, but you can block it in here as well, which is really cool. And then you can do punish them, punish, 
um, kick, all that stuff. Now, the way here at the bottom, it tells you some of the placeholders. It's a lot of more just information about how to configure this. If you wanted to autofill the error message, player, command, prefix. Command is basically whatever they put in. And that's about it. Like I said, it's a really quick and easy, it's just an added level of protection for your server so that people can't download your worlds, can't like see your plugin list, they can't run mods and stuff. Once again, it is not an anti-cheat plugin, it's an added level of security on your server. I wish they had this, this plugin a long time ago when I was running a server. It's very cool, I highly recommend it. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Please leave a like if you did. If not, let me know what you think. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Oh.